So this is a theory on studs and nuts and bolts. So the difference between head bolts and head studs and do I need them? Well, if you're gonna boost it, it's always a good idea to use studs. And, and the reason for it is a bolt only has a surface area on the threads at the bottom, whereas a stud has it on both ends. Uh, when you're tightening down a bolt, these bolts on the uh, LS's are torqued to yield and what that means is you, they tighten them and tighten it to a point where the steel does not return to its original shape and that keeps the bolt from coming loose. So regardless, if you are building or doing head gaskets, you need to replace the bolts. If you are using the studs, um, now you're using the, the surface area of the threads that go into the block along with the surface area on the nut on the top of the head, essentially doubling your uh, pounds per square inch. When you're installing the studs, it doesn't do any extra to torque it down. You need to be able to put the um, studs in by hand and then just leave them there. Uh, put a little bit of oil on the threads. These, these already have oil in the packet. But um, what you want to do is just tighten it finger tight and leave it there. If you torque it down, the, the, the threads actually start stretching one way and we actually want to stretch it the other way. Earlier models had shorter studs on the top on the outsides. The later models, since this block is a 2006, had the same size studs all the way around. You got to know what you're working with. We went with cheaper studs, which are basically China. You can get ARP studs, but they cost a lot more. Um, we are working with an iron block LM7. If you're working with a true LS that has aluminum uh, block, you have to be careful that you don't over torque because all you're going to do is pull the threads out of the block. The torque to yield bolt tightening with stock head bolts is completely different than head studs. ARP originally when they told you to use uh, there, there's two different things online on what the proper torque setting is, but it's because the older way, the old way was using just engine oil. The new way is using uh, ARP's own lubrication. So even if you're doing like a Power Stroke or, or a Duramax, the original way was using engine oil and they would have you torque it down and then back everything off three times to get that final torque is what, what you wanted. But basically you were doing the, the steps three steps, three times. So you're tightening it nine times. Uh, the new way was eliminates all that because the, the lubrication is so much better. You could, you only have to do it in one step. Uh, with this iron block and China studs, we're going to go to 75 foot pounds and just divide your final torque into three. So whatever your final torque is, divide it by three. And I haven't seen any head do it any other way than starting in the middle and working your way out. So start in the middle or working in a circle on the way out or start in the middle and then start going diagonally working your way out. That's all there is to tightening the head bolts. I used engine oil on the washers and on the nuts themselves. You don't have to put any oil on the studs uh, that go into the block because they're not turning. All you're doing is stretching the bolts coming out. It's not, it won't hurt it, but it's not necessarily needed. If you feel like you want to Loctite it, you have to have all your nuts tight before that Loctite dries, otherwise it doesn't stretch that bolt again. You're getting a false reading again. So if you're using the original head bolts, throw, throw them out, get new head bolts, but if you're sticking with bolts, the first torque is 22 foot-pounds and that's straight across the board working from the center on your way out. Then when you get to the uh, larger bolts, the M12s I believe, it goes an extra 90 degrees and then for your first step, for your second step it's an extra 90 degrees again except for the two smaller studs on the outside. If you have the smaller studs they go an extra 50 degrees. That's your torque to yield and you're stretching those bolts. If you are doing studs, which we're doing, take 75 divided by 3, which is 20. First step is 20, 50, then 75. So 22 is the final torque for the outside. We'll do 22 across the board, then we'll do 50, then we'll do 75. After I'm done torquing everything, I do go over them one more time just to make sure that they, they weren't loosened in any way. See that one? The center one actually tightened another probably five degrees or so, so did that one. So it doesn't hurt to just go over it one more time. Um, 
if you're blowing big horsepower, it's a good idea to get it up to temperature and torque it when it's hot. So depending on what make and what model, uh, that's very common practice in the heavy equipment field is getting it hot and retorquing it right away. So that's all there is to torquing. Here we go. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love the channel, consider picking up a tape boss to make those projects go faster so you got more time to watch YouTube. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.